Hey y'all, it's Jordan or Jorwish and I'm back with another video. Today's video was highly requested. Everyone wants to know what I wish I knew before going to law school. And I am still in my first year, so I don't know everything, but I plan on sharing the little stuff that I do kind of wish I knew. Or think people should know uh, but before we get started i just wanted to give a huge thank you to lsat engine for sponsoring today's video lsat engine is super close to home for me because i actually use this program to study for the lsat myself so i'm telling you from personal experience before this youtube anything if you watch my older vlogs i use lsat engine you can see me grilling out that material and i really stand by this program i think it's a great program it's super flexible um, because it was online even before the pandemic so that was perfect for me someone who you know was studying during undergrad i couldn't always get to a classroom setting now that we're in this COVID time it's perfect that it's already online so i can only imagine how much more they've adapted since they started online before all of this elsa engine also is flexible and personable so they give you a study schedule that you can do yourself so it's like so a lot of times people have a hard time figuring out when they're gonna fit LSAT studying in or how many hours they should put into it. But LSAT Engine does all that for you. So they have some sort of algorithm where they calculate, you know, when you want to take the test and when you're starting and they just do all that for you. So it's super helpful for someone who was kind of studying for the LSAT going in like not sure how many hours I should be putting into things so LSAT engine really helps you create a benchmark for things like that one of my favorite parts were the quizzes where they broke it down for you because you can watch a lesson and think you're understanding it but when you take the quizzes you're like okay hold on hold on so I really like how they have the personal quizzes and they also have someone keeping up with you you know sending you emails checking in monitoring your progress saying like hey like you've really been struggling with this area like i think you should do this so i really like that part of it because even though it's virtual it's nice to know that someone cares about you someone's looking out for you and you're not totally alone so that helps a lot and also the cost is lower relative to other options and speaking of the cost i have a discount code for you all where you can get 75 dollars off if you use the code jorwish 21 so the only exception is that unfortunately this discount code is not um, able to work for people who receive lsac fee waivers because I think they already get the program for free. But if you don't get the fee waiver for LSAC, you can use my code and you will get $75 off. So tell a friend, share a friend, use that code so you can get your money off and you can get on your LSAC grind. Because, you know, unfortunately, LSAT, it kind of means a lot in your application process. Oh, and if y'all have any questions about LSAT engine, everything like that, you can definitely feel free to hit me up. And I'll try to link some videos down below, some older vlogs where I'm studying with LSAT engine. So. Yeah, again, thank you to Elsa Engine, and without further ado, let's get right into the video. Okay, so first thing, I just wanted to give a little background. I'm still a 1L in my spring semester, and I go to Howard University School of Law. So again, I'm a 1L, so honestly, take everything that I'm saying still with a grain of salt. Like, I still have, you know, a ways to go. But I'm just going to talk about things that I kind of wish I knew going into my first semester of law school, now that I have that behind me. And I actually did fine my first semester. I have my job already. Thank you, Jesus. So... So maybe I did something right, who knows. So I guess like the first thing I wish I would have known a bit better, and it's actually kind of embarrassing to say that I didn't know this, but I kind of wish I knew more about, you know, the court lingo. <laughs> like of course I, I knew the basic things like plaintiff, defendant, but I wish I knew just a little bit more about how the courts worked, the levels of the court and all of that. I honestly think maybe it was just specific to me because look, I was born and raised in DC, so I didn't really know too much about state stuff because you know, DC is not a state. So just try to know your background of the court things. Honestly, I did fine, like I said, and I didn't know that, but if you really are like one of those people that's like, I just wanna be as prepared as possible, that's one thing that can help you. Like they actually do use a lot of Latin jargon, like stuff like de novo, um, just the Latin terms, um, if that's something you can get familiar with um, because I, it doesn't go away. They are still using these terms. So I think if you wanna brush up on something substantive, like you can do that. Another thing I wish I would have known is that you're graded anonymously. So it doesn't really matter. Like what your professor thinks of you doesn't matter. I would say that kind of helped me because I think for like the first week of school, I was, you know, going to office hours and just trying to make sure the professor actually knew who I was because, um, you know, I know in undergrad, they kind of were like, you know, like going to office hours can like make or break your grade because the professor can like you and like bump your grade up. That's not how it works in law school. So kind of wish I knew that, but I did learn that pretty early. So I stopped wasting that time. Um, so yeah, you're graded anonymously. The next thing that I wish I would have known are that supplements are your friends. Things like Quimby, Barbary, any type of supplement the professor 
mentions or someone you talked like a, a mentor or a two well talks about a supplement first i was like what are you i didn't even know what a supplement was i thought people were talking about vitamins or something like i was like supplement what but supplement is just like an additional reading which actually sucks because you already have a lot of reading and i was like oh i already have all this reading i'm not gonna have time for anything else but honestly the supplement reading it does help you it does help it's there to help you you know so I would say don't be like so closed off to trying it. It doesn't work for everyone, but I think if you you really know something when you can, you know, you, yeah, you can do the class reading, but like the supplement just kind of reinforced it for me. So I think that really helped me. Another thing I wish I would have known is that the uncertainty is actually freaking terrible. Like, you know, you kind of hear that, oh, it's all in the final. You hear that, but when you're actually in it and you're just uncertain that whole semester, like just, I would kind of wish I would have known that I was really going to be that uncertain. Like, I don't know, like, and I can't even put it in words, but the uncertainty is just terrible. So I wish I would have known that. Not that it would have deterred me from going, but just going in, knowing more, you know, that's that's what I'm here for to help y'all. Um. Okay, honestly, what I wish I would have known before going to law school is that it's, it's pretty humbling like i feel like it took a toll on my confidence not that i was ever the most confident person honestly but i definitely see how law school has made me feel super insecure about things i just never really feel sure about anything anymore and not, i mean like and i don't want to make it seem like i felt like you know super confident before this but i think law like i don't know i don't know if, maybe it's just me if anyone else is experiencing this here watching in law school let me know down below but i feel like law school has made me like super i don't want to say super insecure that's super extreme i'm i can be kind of dramatic but i think it has made me be like okay like what is going on like you just never i to me i never really felt like 100 percent on everything everything and um you kind of just have to get used to that feeling and it's it's a growing experience you know you're kind of learning a new language a new way to think so go in not like with too many expectations and kind of go into it like being prepared like okay like you know how you kind of have have you heard of that like, coaches i was kind of an athlete growing up like coaches are like oh we have to like not necessarily break you down you kind of have to unlearn not necessarily unlearn but like it's a new way of thinking so just go into it being like blank try to be blank because it's it's like everything you thought you knew like you kind of get a little shook it so yeah you can kind of go into it and like lose yourself i can see that and like you just you it can kind of take a toll on you like you kind of have to remind yourself like okay like i am worthy i am capable like because this stuff is no joke okay um next thing i wish i would have known slash a piece of advice that i got that i think was really helpful was to kind of work your hardest and grind your hardest for legal writing i think a legal writing grade looks very good for future employers and i heard it's also the class that is most similar to like what lawyers actually do or what we'll actually be doing now i've never worked in um i've never worked in that capacity before so stay tuned for the updates when i actually do you know do that stuff and i'll let y'all know but so far i think um legal writing has been like a really great thing for me as well so if you're kind of in law school and you're like okay which class because you kind of have to ration your time and your energy so if you're thinking of which class you should do that for my proponent for that is legal writing okay so one more thing i wanted to add about the legal writing point i wish i would have known that legal writing is so like detail oriented so in undergrad when you write papers your citations aren't really checked that much you kind of just say where the book is from you get to choose mla or whatever i forget the citations like chicago style all that legal writing it's super strict pay attention to the citations because they take off points for like the smallest of things like a missing comma can drop you down like so that is like a big difference so just I wish I would have known that, you know, that it's not necessarily like how you, like what you write, but it's also like making sure your citations are correct and just going through line by line by line because the smallest things, like literally on my memo, I lost a whole point because of a space. It's invisible, bro, like, <laughs> anyways, I wish I would have known that. Um, okay, another thing I wish I would have known is that office hours are not the cure for everything. Like, a lot of people will you know, start in law school and they'll say, oh, like, go to office hours. Make sure you're going to your professor's office hours. Like, that to me is just not a cure for everything. Like, if you're just going to go to office hours and be a fly on the wall just in the Zoom class, just sitting there, I don't know how that can be helpful for people. Um, I would say if you have a specific question, yeah, office hours can cure that, but I wouldn't just say office hours are the cure for everything. So that's one thing I kind of wish I would have known because like I said, you can waste so much time just in office hours and end up being more lost than you were going into it. So 
that's just my two cents though another thing i wish i would have known going in which i kind of didn't know but in case you didn't know um and you're watching this is that you have to be super organized in law school i think you really have to you know be on your stuff you need to make sure you know deadlines coming up you need to make sure you know okay when you're going to read what and that also comes with discipline as well but i think you know have a plan just have a plan i don't think i don't know how people are doing this just free balling it i think you know you kind of have to have a plan with this stuff because you start out and it's okay but it can really get to a point where it's like what is going on but when you have a plan and you stick to that um i think it works and it worked for me so i think just being organized and having like a way to set out your time will really help you okay another thing i wish i would have known is that but low-key i think people make it way harder than what it seems like people make it seem way harder than it is it definitely is hard don't get me wrong it's super hard but you, it's really only as hard as you make it like i said there's a lot of uncertainty you're not really having assignments throughout the semester so it's all on the final so however you want to ration that time it's up to you and just make sure it's something that you can sustain okay another thing i wish i would have known is that you really don't always have to breathe Am I bad for doing that? Like, I don't think I really ever made a proper brief all of my first semester, and I did fine. Um, it's definitely different for everyone, but I think that I benefited from not wasting most of my time preparing for class. Um, I definitely still came to class prepared, but I was not about to be doing too much. Like, I kind of went into it. Like reading was like priming me to learn the stuff. Okay, I'm not reading this to teach it to myself. That's just like the first step is reading it. Okay, this is what class is gonna be about. Then you get to class and that's when you actually do the learning. So yeah, so I wouldn't be, I wouldn't like, I would say going into it, like don't beat yourself too much over the reading, like read it, but don't become like an expert. I, I, I don't think you have to become like an expert on the reading. For example, like, you know just just read it and just i mean i do take notes on the reading that's something i'm not just reading and that's it i can't i don't have a photographic memory or anything like that but i think that i really um kind of wish i knew that yeah reading is a part of law school and you do a lot of reading but it's also not what you're you're not going to be tested on what did we read week two and how great that brief was like no you're going to be the tests are just totally different from the reading so i would um i think i kind of wish going into it that i knew that reading is not um the end all be all. And I low key did learn that early on and I think that really helped me. Okay, another thing that I wish I would have known is that talking to TAs can actually be a bit more helpful than professors. Like I said before, I go to Howard, so we did have TAs um, our first semester. We don't have them this semester, y'all, and I don't know what I'm gonna do without that. So we'll figure that out. But if your school has TAs, I think that is really helpful. Um, because, okay, at first, I really didn't think the TAs were gonna be helpful. At UCLA, which is where I went for undergrad, I stayed in my TA's office hours because at UCLA, the professors do not grade you, the TA's grade you, your TA's grade you because there was just so many of us. So when I got to Howard and I saw that, oh, actually the professors are gonna grade us, not the TA's, I was like, okay, well, what, how, uh -huh. like a TA can't help me then because they're not even grading me. Like I was just like, okay, well, I'm only gonna go to the professor's office hours big mistake okay because honestly there's only really so much you can learn from the professor i think and also um you kind of have to like the way i kind of rationed it and like how i really benefited was yes the professor is going to teach you but this is the ta is someone who did well in the class so their perspective is different and they're actually going to like kind of give you the real because you know how someone can ask for something but when you are getting it from someone who gave the professor what they want and you replicate that i think that is really helpful so whether your school has tas or not maybe try to get a 2l to help you or a 3l who's taken the class before and did well in it okay like yes they've taken the class before but if you you know kind of go for someone who actually who went did the class and did well in the class and not to say that just because someone didn't do well in the class they can't help you either because i've gotten help from so many other people but as for like how to write an exam like i think you should go to a student um i think professors can sometimes be helpful i think also just relatability i think tas and 2ls and 3ls can just be more relatable to you they can give it to you straight no chaser like they can just give you to you cut the fluff so that i think is something that i wish i would have known earlier that i did learn earlier that i think helped me okay another thing i kind of wish i knew going in was that you're always going to feel like you have something to do 
they're always gonna feel like oh my gosh i should be reviewing this i should be typing this up i should be doing this outline i should be reading for this i should you know like there's always gonna be something to do and that really like ugh, it's a terrible feeling but you kind of reach a point where it's like okay you can always be doing something but you still have to take time for yourself so just know that there's never necessarily free time you kind of just have to make it yourself there were times where at night i would have to just set timers for times that i could watch a show and i would have to get back to work so you're always going to be feeling that way and that's fine like you just i kind of just wish i knew that going in because i was just like at some point feeling like i was running with my head cut off because i had no idea what to do but you kind of just have to take a deep breath get yourself together know that look people have done this before me and they've done fine and just ration out your time okay someone asked about like people ask me things about um like jobs things i wish i knew before like the job situation honestly i don't think i'm the best person to ask for that like I said, I did not go to any of the career center events before school. I didn't go to any Howard events because I was just like, school is already more than enough. I'm not trying to be on Zoom any more time than I have to be. So I didn't really do that, but I'm planning on doing maybe a separate video with me and some like two and three L's possibly of like, you know, that whole process because my process was not traditional at all. Um, most people, it's very rare for um, it to happen like how it happened for me. But overall, I just wanted to say that everyone is different that's one thing you should know going into law school like everyone is different so honestly everything people tell you you don't have to do that to a t even the stuff i tell you you don't have to do that to a t but um so just just know that and just go in having confidence in yourself you got there so that's an that's an accomplishment you got there and you're there for a reason and um yeah don't let all the hard work go out the window like you worked hard to get to law school so you can work hard to um you know complete law school and do well in law school as well so I, I think you'll be fine. But yeah, that's it for this video. Hopefully I'll do more. I wanna answer all your questions, but you know, I don't want the video to be super long either. <laughs> um, so yeah, definitely leave me um, questions and comments down below. I plan on doing a whole life update for you all on everything, cause there's so much I have to update you with. So yeah, thank you so much again. And don't forget if you're about to study for the LSAT, use LSAT engine, I'm telling you like, they're good, okay? So thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.